Grant comes in, I need to break her control, break her balance, create a gap for myself. I can do that with just a heel kick up in the groin leg, wherever it happens, that if it hits the groin, great. Um, if the head was in position, I can just do a reverse head bump, which is impossible to see, they just come back at you. Um, I can stomp on the foot, bang. What I'm going to do here is, I'm going to throw my hips forward, and if you just let go, I'm going to swing back and hit, and throw my arms out and wide at the same time. So what I want to do is the attack to the groin. I'm basically going to hit her in the groin from the butt. So it goes bang like that. <laughs> and then I'm free to go. So all the brake balances, just use the one you need or keep going until you, it works. Bang. No, she's not back. Head butt will do fine. Bang. Ow. Ugh. <laughs> so that was a good point. So I didn't quite open and release. So when we get in that position again, oh, bang. If Mick turns to the side and as she turns, throws that into my groin, bang. You can see it's there. Because the danger from that position is I just come in and grab her even more. And see, now I know what I'm, I'm angry now. <laughs> It's the way. Neck grabs. Brake balances are the same. Foot, groin, head, or either any of those. We are just going to step to the side a little and go down and up. The danger here, of course, is that I'm setting up a headlock or a choke. But as we do that, turn, grind, okay? If I wish, grab a finger, snap it to get out. This won't work if I fight. If I see you naturally fight against me and I can't make it happen. So I gotta stay loose, bang. There it goes. When I take that step, I'm going up, my arms free up, so the hip comes in. I've got room now to do that stuff. And you do your whatever you want to do. Hit it. <laughs> then you're going to go down and out to the something, yes. And then that hits as you go. Bang. Stay upright rather than collapsing forward. Yes. And then bang. As you, as you, as you step out, bang. Okay, okay. <laughs> 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 so when it comes to grabbing the fingers, you just the hand coming over the top just fine. So I'm just going between fingers, I'm going between a couple here. See we've separated them and separate down to that one. <laughs> and then generally a sideways movement will snap them. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. In and out, just hit me again. <clears throat> Head up on. Not with the temple though, yeah. Ow. That keeps me away. <laughs> Knee, <laughs> bang, into there, the side, groin. So we just close the normal fist, but we lay the thumb on top, and that becomes our attack point. Straight into the eye, bang. Oh, and then straight into the <laughs> eye. <laughs> the same old ones we've done, control with the knee. Look to previous videos to see those techniques. <laughs> So it's time we've got a beer hug, but with my hands are free. Okay, so just be a guy throwing you around. What can you do? One of the easy things is just slap oh. back there. It's <laughs> sorry. It's not pleasant. So it doesn't actually have to hit a guy where it hurts, but no one wants any violence anywhere near that area. So that he will. It's just breaking that balance. But we want to try and open the hands. So we're using the points of our knuckles right across the back of the hand, and that's not. Not great, great. Is it? it's not great. Ow. Then we just reach on, peel off the finger, and we're going to tear them <laughs> come out. <laughs> the same initial brake balances apply. The headbutt, in this case, it's awful, isn't it? You just don't see it. 
the groin kick. If the groin was on, the foot stop, if you want it off. Bang, head butt. Grab the, oh, I forgot to do that. Bang. Ow! That, <laughs> then just grab, doesn't matter what hand, what finger, I've got both this time. I step out. <laughs> Bang! If I just keep, in relation to my body, just keep my hands in sort of the same place, but I need to get out, so I'm going over like a dancer. If I go and leave my arms behind, it becomes a battle of strength, and she'll always win. But if I go and I, you can see what I'm doing, I'm taking the knot, <laughs> my arms. I don't want to turn, then try and force a technique. I want to have my body applying that as we go. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really it important because it gets away from the fight, um, but it's applying your body weight. That's where you get your power from. Step and turn. No, so you left that hand behind. Okay, okay. Don't leave it behind. It just stays in the. No, no, don't try and do anything. It stays here. Now you so go, you go in between them. Lift them over like you're dancing. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so if you grab a finger, feel like it's probably easier to like, you know, snap, I'm, snap. I might let you. Yeah, I'll let you go with that program. And then bang, bang. And then I'd probably just. Perfect. Rather than try to. So there's a technique made up for you right there. Ow. Oh. You just really you know, have to put them aside, okay. just grab them. Then you just go and just, just like you're dancing. Pinkies, that's that's right. That you just got to get out I feel here. like it's easier for me just to. Yeah, Bang. absolutely. Anything to escape. Bang. Ow. Ah. See, now you've got one hand. Go for it, though. Try the same. No, go out and turn. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> So even though I had a hand free, the pressure on that finger was awful. So I had to follow that okay, to escape. And then suddenly you were there, right? All right, so front bear hug. Any man's an idiot to take you like this because the first thing you do is just straighten the groin on the guts. Um, I've mixed things up again, or I can just throw my hands in, <laughs> right? And that, uh, no one wants that, no one wants that. Then the same thing we applied before, we go low and open the hands. Groin strike as we go. Then with this hand, I'm going to just drive it straight into the meaty parts of the throat. So it's going to be an open, open hand, points in there. This hand will do the thumb strike again, drive straight into the throat. But no one wants that either, right? So all fingers come together, they're not stiff and hard, they are relaxed. And we drive in with the end of them. They all clamp together, drive in with the end of them. You can see where we're heading. Groin, throat, eyes. Three really delicate pieces that no one wants you near them. Mm -hmm. So front grab comes straight in the groin or bang, just slap with the back of your hand. We're stepping 45 degrees away from the action and opening the shoulders. Again, with this, if I fight, I can't actually move this muscle-bound thing. So I just step aside and open, groin at the same time. Then this hand is gonna sneak under, drive straight into the throat, which opens her up, which allows me to drive my thumb straight into where it is. If I don't start with the break balance, the groin strike, Mick will make this very hard for me to get out into that position. So I need to take a mind off what's happening. Oh. Bang, just like that, real simple. Bang, straight in there again, strike, bang. Oh. Grab comes on. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Now I'm down, so turn, just move your body, don't fight me. You move your body, no, don't go back. You're driving through me now, so this hand is straight to the neck. And then that one. So, Just turn. Just trust your body. You're going to turn and hit me with this left hand. Yeah, but I'm here then, then put just stick it in and turn your body. No. Stick it in. Just stick it in. And turn. Here we go. Now, go. That's right. Go back where you went. Go down. 
Okay, okay. Okay, Dan will create your length for you. If you're too far away, you can feel free just to apply a kick instead. Oh. Push, move me, that's right. So again, it's about applying body weight to do with your legs, rather than trying to find something to hit hard, you don't want to hit hard. Straight, deep into any part of the neck is just, I don't want to be there, I'll yeah. move back. And even if I only move back out of the way, it sets up the next shot, right? Or, or it sets up a chance for you to escape. And you apply that body weight just by like, basically going, going down, down further, yes, yeah. yes. So Mick's having trouble because her hands are getting stuck, so. We're here, fourth into there, and she's caught under me here. We're just gonna go, if we're inside, we just go straight up into that <laughs> thing in the throat. We're going in, see this V here at the base of the throat? Stick in and down. Okay, or whichever way you want them to go. Stick in and down, and just all your pressure in there. Feels delightful, doesn't it? Ah. We have to go, oh, I can't get away, but I'm caught up in here. So just come in. Ah! <laughs> So what I was doing there was basically I just grabbed it and was just squeezing, but pushing the thumb in. So rather than grabbing and trying those, it's a, go in, get inside them, it's not nice. And all you really, well not all you want, but if all that happens is they pull away from that, you're taking their mind off what they're trying to do and you're creating space for yourself. And basically my thumb, it doesn't matter where it goes, drive the thumb <coughs> in. So instead of, grabbing and squeezing. We just put the thumb somewhere and stick it in. Doesn't matter where, and on this side, doesn't matter even the fingers, it just sticks in. Grab and stick. Oh. 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 Oh, my groin shot's on there. Like I can get that. Can you? Okay. Yeah, okay. Oh. I think so. And I'm just refusing to, to open up, right? Yeah, that's right, so stick it in. Stick in for that piece, that's exactly right. No, attack with the throat, not with your hands. Just stick it in and go down. <laughs> Bangle. Okay. Uh, 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 right. And she go. Breathe in. Okay. Just get in there. If it's anywhere. Yeah. Just so you have time. Uh, 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 okay. Make that an angle as well. Go out. Go out towards the window. Yeah. yeah see, it makes it different. And if you um, raise your arms as you go, come back again. I was raising. Oh, so you hit me again, hit me again. Oh. Oh, now go. Oh, yeah. See, it's different. You're holding me up, let me fall. Come back now. Yeah. See. Oh. So you'll be hugging me. The obvious thing, <laughs> bang, oh. straight in the corner again, right? But now I have my hands <laughs> free. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bang, hands free. I'm, I'm a believer in face, do the face. So I'm just going for the eyes. And down. Ah, knee drop. <laughs> uh, so we've got the groin, which takes the mind up. Now I'm just coming up to the face. Now all I did was find something to dig into. And hello, here's an eye. Ah. Now, I don't want to just dig in, I want to control that. So if I apply pressure, and now I'm turning and going down that way. And to make it go, I stay upright and go down with my legs, right? And when she gets to a point, I just drop my weight off. Or it's a position to stop and run. Okay, get his hands and legs out of the way so he can't grab or whatever, stop and run. Got the groin into here. Now, I can't do anything from here. I have to, I have to tip her balance over. So that's why, see now, I've got control. Back here, uh, yes, yeah, yeah, she's there, but if I can get, twist the head and move it. See, now I've got her balance nicely and I can just go straight oh. down if I wish. Your power is better close to your center line. So I don't want to be doing this out here away and awkward. And she's in. I want to keep as close to the centre line as I can. And just, I'm basically just driving my hand down, but it's not even in your eye this time. She's there, I'm losing control. Bang. Oh my god, 
bit, but the sand. The sand? Yeah. And the other one just comes over between you two. Yes, now you're talking. Now you took my head there. <laughs> I don't really understand how you want me to control it. Okay. So, so and, oh, okay. Get in control. Right. So, you've got to twist my head. So, you want my head going there yeah, because I'll follow the head, see? Right. Okay. Now, you bend your knees, keep your back up, right? And apply here yeah, with here, see? Sorry, and you got me on the neck as well. What I'm saying with control is. See how you'll follow your head, uh -huh. wherever I take it. What you basically mean is turn the head first and then push it down. And then push it <laughs> down, yeah. But I lead with the attack. So I don't just go there and, and hope doing that makes it down. I need to make, you need to make me fall or, or pull away from it, which will allow me, to, allow you to take me down. Well, so you don't have to be kind. And pop it if you want. Scratch it with your fingernails. <sighs> Scratch the cornea with your fingernails. <sighs> now, it's all about feet and body movement. Now, and you're pushing with the base of your thumb, not your finger. Yeah. <laughs> you see the difference? It pulls me right there. <sighs> Kia ora, everyone. My mate had his awesome one, Nick. And I'm very tired, Dad. <laughs> Hey, what a day. That's our video for escaping from bear hugs. If you want to see us get beat up a little more or learn some more self-defense, please check out our channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have an awesome day. See ya. Bye. I'm hey, sorry, this is when I'm gonna accidentally hit you in the crust. Too late. <laughs> 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 <laughs>